Only use specified refrigerant type with equipment to prevent refrigerant cross-contamination. Always follow standard safety procedures and wear appropriate protective equipment. Refrigerants and service equipment should only be handled by certified professionals. Visit epa.gov for more information on motor vehicle air conditioning system service requirements and regulations. Take note of these important safety precautions before using your manifold gauge set. Now, a quick tip, tip for everybody is you want to fix 95% of all your leaks, make sure you put your caps back on. Make sure it's got a good O-ring seal in the bottom of it and make sure you got it nice and tight. And remember, there's also kits that give you every cap and Schrader valve that's available to you through the GPD kit process. The, this is the, the low side, which is the suction line going from the compressor to the evaporator. And this is the high side going from the condenser to the expansion valve. The different locations but they, they, they do the same thing. So in other words, you know, this could be over here, this could be over here. Some of yours are very easy. Some of them are hard to get to. And we can see that the system is equalized and what we're looking at is it's showing 60 pounds. That means that this system is, has got plenty of refrigerant in it and it doesn't have a leak. If it's sitting down about 30 or 20 or 10, that means that the system probably has a leak and that might have been a lot of your problem. Either caps wasn't on it or you have a leak in the system. So it's, it's good to go ahead and look at the system and make sure it's got a full charge. Assume that the system is bad and it needs to you know, have items replaced. So what we're gonna have to do is get rid of the refrigerant. So you'll have to take it somewhere and have the refrigerant removed professionally through a recycling machine. And then after we do our repairs, we'll go ahead and hook it up to a, a vacuum pump, pull the, uh, pull the uh, air out of the system, and then we'll uh, get ready to charge it. And then on the vehicle, if you'll always look, on all these vehicles now, it tells you what your refrigerant charges are. So know exactly what your refrigerant charges are and put the proper amount of refrigerant back in the system. Thanks for watching. For more tech tips like this, visit gpdtechtips.com.